Hello. So let us take another example. A class. The question is like this. Example two. Okay. A truss structure is given like this. Then goes up, then like this, then like this, then like this, and then like this. Okay. okay that this and this like this like this a load of 20 newton is acting like this so the names are a b c d E F G. Okay, this angle is given by thirty degree. This one as sixty degree. This one, this one thirty degree, thirty degree. Okay, this much is given. He has asked what is the force in the member B C that means in this force, this member. So how we can solve it? We can easily solve it by taking this joint. Okay. First of all, our first procedure was to go with the reaction in A and F, but we don't need to take that. Why? Because from the symmetry we can see that. A G and F G will be neutralizing, cancelling each other. Okay. Because if you take the joint G, then what will happen? This is symmetrical truss. Okay. So this this force and the um, force in this member A G and force in this member G F will be cancelling each other. Or if it is not, then also you can say you can take the joint G. Maybe we don't know what is the force, what is the force, maybe it is something else, but I have from symmetry I was guessing that. Here we can take the joint G, take joint G. Okay. In joint G the members are meeting are A G, F G, E G, B G. These are the four members which are meeting. Here one load is acting like this. If I take summation of all the forces about vertical direction equal to zero, then what happens? See, force in the member B G. What is B G? Force in the member B G. And take the sine component of it because sine component means it is vertical. Sine component so joint G taking joint G particle force is equal to zero. So force in the member and sine component of it is acting like this may be upward direction I'm assuming in upward direction. Okay. Because this force is the force will be taken by this member and this member. Because this member and this member will not take the vertical force because any member cannot take a force in its perpendicular direction. So this member will having BG will be having a vertical component like force in the BG and this is sine 30 degree. Okay. Again, same thing will be happening to EG. So plus force in the member EG 
sin 30 degree. Okay, I'm taking the forces like this, like this upward it is, like this. So the component of a component of GE or EG will be acting like this. Again, acting like this. So this is force in member BG sin theta, uh, sorry sin 30 plus EG sin 30. Both are acting upward like this. I'm assuming the direction is this. Let us see if it is right, then the direction will be right and wrong, then we will change the direction. So this is upward force and this should be balanced with the downward force. The downward force is 20. So I'm writing minus 20 equal to 0. From the symmetry of the truss, we can see this is member, the length of the member are same. Or maybe the length of the member is given as 3 meter, 3 meter. So this is the symmetrical truss. So force in this member should be equal to force in this member because the angle is same and the, um, and the distance is same. So force in member BG, what I am writing is force in member BG should be equal to force in member EG. Why? Because the truss is symmetrical, this force and this force in both the members has got to be same. Now what I can write, if force in the member BG equal to force in the member EG, then force in the member BG, sine component of it, has got to be equal to force in the member EG sine 30. So I am writing FBG sine 30 should be equal to FEG sine 30. I have already explained why. Okay. So what can I write? I can write two times instead of this, I am putting uh, in here, I am putting this. So I can write two times force in the BG sine 30 degree should be equal to this is in this side or for your confusion I am writing minus 20 equal to 0. So two times FBG sine 30 degree equal to 20. So this is FBG sine 30 should be equal to 10. So FBG should be equal to 10 by sine 30. What is sine 30? Sine 30 is 0 0.5. So 10 by 0 0.5. So that is equal to 20 Newton. Or it is coming as positive. That means our assumed direction is correct. As in direction is correct means it is like this. So what is this joint? Joint is under tension. Joint, the arrow is away from the joint. Joint is under tension. Joint is under tension, then from ABD we can say that joint, this member will be also under tension. So this force is tensile. After that we need force in the member DC. Now what should we do? We can take the joint B. Take joint B. Okay. In joint B, what we can write? See, what are the horizontal forces in joint B? One is the horizontal component of BG. Another is horizontal component of BC. If these two are same, then only the point, the joint. B will be in under stable equilibrium. So that means the horizontal component of BG should be equal to the horizontal component of BC. What is the horizontal component of BG? That is force in the member BG into if this is angle then it should be cos theta. So cos 30 degree A B G cos 30 degree Y because this is the angle, a force is acting like this, so this component is cos 30. Okay, so FPG cos 30 I am writing should be equal to FBC, should be equal to FBC 
cos component of it in this direction horizontal direction this is the sine component this is the cos component so abc cos 60 degree okay cos 60 degree is 0 0.5 then mm -hmm. abg we have already found that is 20 into cos 30 degree should be equal to a b c into half what is cos 30 degree cos 30 degree is 0 0.866 20 into 0 0.866 should be into into this 2 I am taking here should be equal to F B C so F B C should be equal to 20 into 2 40 into that is 34.64 34.64 Newton is it tensile or compressive say if I take this giant force in the member BG is acting like this then force in the member BC should act like this BG act like this BC act like this then only it will be under stable equilibrium so I am taking uh, from horizontal forces equal to 0 I have written this I have written this from horizontal forces at B equal to 0 this is the condition so if it is like this then this is like this it is like this means the joint is in here and the joint is under tension so if joint is under tension the member is also under tension so the force is tensile thank you